What's up YouTube, LND here. <clears throat> uh, today we're going to be playing some Dead by Daylight. Well, we're not going to be playing quite yet. Uh, we're going to be doing some blood web stuff um, for the new killer and uh, new survivor. But first let's uh, check out the newest thing here. A scared soul that even death won't accept. Seeking revenge for punishment richly deserved. A relentless killer obsessed with destroying those he deems responsible for his pain. One who is deaf to cries of agonies, living only to bring victims into his nightmare world. His wicked claws closing around their necks. A weary young man determined to stay awake at all costs, taking pills, energy drinks, and doing whatever it takes to s stave off sleep. But how long can he really last? An old preschool once met as a safe place for innocent, now forever changed by pain, suffering, and horror. Freddy roamed the premises and warped the perception of this haven distorting everything. Nowadays, the preschool is just shattered, broken memory. Fear sweet embrace of sleep, for once the nightmare begins, your chances to survive have run out. A Nightmare on Elm Street is a new chapter for Dead by Daylight. It includes a new killer, a new survivor, and a new map. Um, and I actually, it sounds like this new map is an actual new map, unlike what we got with uh, Leatherface. Uh, his thing, well, it wasn't really a map specifically for him, but the Grand Pantry is supposed to be, I don't know, kind of like his map place that came with him or whatever. Um, this sounds like it's going to be a whole new area rather than, like, a new version of a map, which is what I thinking was thinking it was going to be. Um, I did read through the patch notes on Steam and the forums. Um, new location, Springwood. Uh, new map for Springwood, Bad Ham Preschool, so it is a fully new thing. Uh, content, remove the slightly and moderately map offerings off the blood webs from Kill Your... I, I, that I thought was weird. I don't know why they are removing the slightly, slightly and moderate map offerings like that. Um, I think that's kind of silly, to be honest. I don't. There's no reason to really move those. For balance stuff, remove parts of railings on the second floor of the foundry in McMillan Estate. MacMillan Estate added the ability to unhook survivors from all possible angles. This step is towards making the hook a happier place. That's cool, I guess. Uh, well, no, it is cool. It should have been in the game a long time ago. Reduce the audio levels of the race growl while cloak survivor standpoint. Uh, some other things. I'm not actually going to read through all this stuff. Um, there's quite a bit of it. This is just the balances, and then there's all these bug fixes. Um, a lot of these I didn't know were problems, and I'm surprised they got prioritized over other things. Since everything else, there's a there's a ton of other high priority things, and none of these seem to be well that for those bug fixes. But whatever. Um, so I did grind up to close to cap um and blood points oh that, that's interesting he laughs when you select him um it's i am i'm seven thousand less than seven thousand points away from cap so it's just 350 or 3500 less each that i'm gonna put towards the killer and the new survivor um i will have to say Freddy is another very short survivor. This is the doctor. This is Freddy. He's quite a bit shorter. I He's uh, barely taller than the hag. So that's going to be interesting. Um, He's not called the Sandman like people were thinking. It's, he's the Nightmare. His power is Dream Demon, which I think is different. Pull survivors into the dream world. Survivors who are awake do not you do not see the nightmare. Once targeted by the nightmare's power, survivors enter the dream transition for seven seconds. During the dream transition, they can see the nightmare intermediately. When the dream transition lapses, the survivor is pulled into the dream world. I fucking have no idea what any of that is supposed to mean. Once in the dream world, survivors' auras are revealed to the nightmare when they are outside this terror radius. Survivors suffer from an action speed penalty of 50%. That sounds fucking ridiculous. To exit the dreams world, survivors can find non-sleeping survivors to perform a wake-up action. 
Some failed actions can also wake up. Hook, su hook survivors wake up. That seems pretty ridiculous. Once targeted by the nightmare's powers, enter the dream transition for seven seconds. Lapses, the survivors enter the dream world. That's kind of ridiculous because he always sees where survivors are then pretty much. I don't... See, this is what I don't understand. A lot of people who play killer and just like in general were complaining about survivors not using stealth tactics but then there's stuff like this that makes stealth absolutely impossible to do you either don't a lot of people are gonna say well done don't get caught well that's not how it works you just don't not get caught you're gonna get caught it's very rare that a killer will never see a person at least once i don't know whatever this power sounds i don't know ridiculous to me but we'll see how it is later oh. So we're gonna start the blood web stuff for him. Um, while we're doing this, I can talk about the survivor a bit. Um, a lot of people are expecting our survivors to be a female survivor called Kate. It is uh, not a female survivor, and it is not Kate Denson or whatever, like is on the wiki. Um, it is a Quentin something. It is a dude. Golden Garden Rake. A small claw rake, a must have tool for any accomplished gardener. Slightly increases the movement speed while using power. A white and blue wooden block depicting two woolly lamb grazing on the letter S. Sheep block. Slightly reduces the dream transition time to fall asleep, reduced by 0.5 seconds. Kids Drawing. An unattributed. Unattributed drawing clearly crafted by a young child slightly increases the power range. Outdoor rope, and I can't read that because it came from a box. Wool shirt, a small boy's orange and yellow striped shirt identified with a sewn name tag to Jesse slightly increases the skill check chance in the dream world. Huh. Blood. Party streamers are on the web still. I thought those were uh, supposed to be removed from the web. Kids drawing, we already read that. Okay. I'm probably gonna cut out any webs that don't have anything for me to read. Um, or any web that is just it's nothing really like this it only had well the only the only things it had on it were things I already read so okay so this is going to be the first unique perk here fire up the increased pressure of losing your prey fills you with anger and gives you unexpected motivation each time the survivor completes repair on a generator fire up grows in power and grants speed bonus to pick up drop pallet break Generator break and vaults. Uh, two tokens receive 6%, three tokens receive 8%, and four tokens receive 10%. So not the biggest boosts, but still can be beneficial. I'm assuming the percent numbers are what change, since they're colored and not the token numbers. Like, they don't drop tokens or whatever. Box bottle that's a another add on there uh, prototype claws a hand a homemade tool to facilitate brushing trip brush trimming moderately increases movement speed while using power This is going to be the second unique perk. Remember me. You become obsessed with one survivor. Each time you hit your obsession, you increase the opening time of the exit gates by 5 seconds up to a maximum of 20 additional seconds. 
The obsession is not affected by Remember Me. Only one obsession per match. I think that time needs to drop. Uh, I think it should be one second up to like five seconds. It should not be five seconds up to 20. I can't imagine how the exit gates, I'm pretty sure they already take quite a bit to open time wise and they're probably good at what they are any longer would be kind of ridiculous and that's like far too long it should not take a full minute to open the exit gate for three survivors because of one uh, nancy's sketch a crude bold sketch made with frozen signed nancy h moderately increases power range Grab the 3,000 ones instead of the... What did I lose on there? Outdoor rope. Sturdy outdoor rope. Handy to tie up anything. Moderately increases the survivor's action speed when in dream world. Or decreases. It's like, why did that... Why would that increase their stuff? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the dress here. It's weird that his, uh... He has a thing for dresses. Uh, green dress. A little girl's green dress with a silky white ribbon. Considerably decreases skill check chances in the dream world. Sli slightly increases the dream transition time to fall asleep increased by 0.5 seconds. So a lot of his uh, add-ons are things about children. Stuff. I don't I'm not 100% familiar with the Nightmare on Elm Street stuff. It's I've watched one or two of the movies like a very long time ago when I was fucking like seven. Alright, so we got the third new perk, which is the last one. Um, this here is Blood Warden. Once per match, once at least one exit gate is open, hooking a survivor summons the entity to block the exit gate for all survivors for 30 seconds. Okay, that's way different than what they described on the dev stream. Um, that is a hell of a long time to have an exigate randomly blocked, though, for one. Oh, but it's once per match. And it has, at least one exigate has to be opened. Um, I don't know if that's a very good perk, honestly. I don't think it needs to be changed for shit. Because his other two perks are fucking already good enough. Uh, while Blood Warden is active, auras of all sur of survivors located within the exit gates are revealed to you. And that's fine. Just leave the exit gate. Don't really have a problem with that. Um, I don't know what this perk is trying to do. It, I guess it's supposed to make survivors leave right away instead of staying around in the exit gates. But that doesn't matter. They'll just stay around outside the exit gates. Uh, and somebody goes down at the last second they're either going to leave right away or they're going to go try to help the other person they're not going to just stay in the exit gate but i don't know could be worse i guess go ahead and grab that i think that's a new no nope. um so in the time in between this doing this web and uh yeah i'm not gonna grab that i don't think uh, <clears throat> and yeah, whatever the time in between the time it took me to get to that web um, I learned that supposedly our new killer or new survivor was supposed to be Nancy but they had a problem getting her in that's why we got uh, Quentin instead um, but we were supposed supposedly supposed to be getting a uh, um, a different character named Kate and I started to believe that Kate might be the Kate from Slenderman. And yes, that's weird, but it just so happens her name is Kate. I don't know if her last name is Denson like this other Kate was. But that also makes me think that we might still be getting a standalone survivor. Or they already have their survivor for their next uh, killer. However, this is the first time the killer and survivor haven't been opposite genders from each other. And I just thought that was interesting that they finally decided to not do that um of course it was kind of like out of their way 
Um, because of that, though, um, Quentin's perks aren't very good. Matter of fact, I don't like them at all, really. Um, pharmacy allows you to get a med kit on your first complete search. Um, emergency med kit, I believe, or emergency health kit or whatever it's actually called. The yellow one, I believe. Um, and, uh... Uh, chest searches are like 40 or 50 percent faster for the first tier of it not a very good perk unless you desperately need a med kit um there's an effect status one when you're near somebody in like an eight meter range and this is for the first tier i believe um uh the first tier like their effect status are reduced or you they recover from it 10 percent faster effect status like blindness and stuff um, that's, what is, what is, what is that perk? That's a terrible perk. Um, I rarely am in, in matches where effect statuses, like, come into play. So, I don't know what the hell that was about. And I'm pretty sure they know very few people use effect statuses. Um, uh, what is the last one? Uh, open exit gates faster and your auras are revealed to other people when opening the exit gates or something like that it's a decent perk but it doesn't it's a perk that literally a hundred percent counteracts freddy's perk um the the gate one remember me so i don't know that's interesting we do got a new uh add on here a white and purple wooden block depicted a sleeping cat and the letter c considerably reduces dream transition time to fall asleep reduced by one and a half seconds slightly increases skill check chances in the dream world okay yeah whispers i don't use whispers but i'll go ahead and grab it anyways um okay so my point is with the the quentin stuff is i think i'm actually going to go ahead and just give all my points to freddy here um i'll go ahead and read his class photo a large photograph taken at Bedham Preschool showing the cheerful class of 94 to 95. When a survivor is pulled into the dream transition, all other survivors' auras are revealed to you for the duration of the dream, dream transition, so 7 seconds, which is ridiculous, and, and tremendously increases the dream transition time to fall asleep increased by 2 seconds. So that means that you get a, almost a whole 10 seconds to see where other survivors are. That's a bit ridiculous. I think they need to drop the time like of the dream transition or something like that that what they really need to do is they need to remove that stupid aura reading stuff and they need to they need to quit giving killers like ways to just see where people are it puts the game on easy mode for killers because you don't have to search for nobody and that's the whole point of the stealth part of it if you're gonna whine about not having stealth you can't like use perks that show them where they are barbecue and chili was the same way it did the same kind of shit they i don't i don't know what they were thinking when they made barbecue and chili anyway they they botched that pretty bad with the way they set up i'm gonna go ahead and grab the box and i got a kid's drawing instead of the clock but i don't know how good any of these add-ons are for anyway we got a uh, tier two fire up yep and the same tokens just slightly increased Things, the percentages. Go ahead and grab that then. Okay, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that. I should have done that for the other ones, but I guess I'll do the tier three ones. We got two new add-ons on here and a Mori, but I don't care about Mori's. Black box. A black cardboard box filled with photographs. Obsession starts the trial in the dream world. You become obsessed with one survivor. Only one obsession per trial. That's interesting, I guess. Uh, Nancy's Masterpiece, a painting of a character made by Nancy Holbrook at Bedham and kept as treasured memory, tremendously increases the power range. Oh, we have two Mori's on here. 
They're Cypress though, so they're the worst ones, but still, they're, I don't care about berries. I spend a lot of points on this web though. Go ahead and screenshot that real quick. a very expensive blood bub and now we are officially committed to spending the points on Freddy. Perk slot three. Okay so we got a couple new add-ons here. We got the unicorn block. A white and red wooden block depicting a prancing unicorn with and the letter U considerably reduces a dream transition time to fall asleep reduced by one and a half seconds. Uh, swing chains. Rusty but sturdy chains used to securely attach a swing seat. Sur survivors suffer an additional 25% action speed penalty when pulled into the dream world for the second time. Isn't his first one like 70 or 50% or something stupid? So, uh, so survivors have an action speed of 75% speed penalty. Seems, uh, uh, like a pretty big penalty to get. Uh, I don't know. I had to actually play as him and play against him before I can know for sure if anything's too ridiculous. Funny, I don't care about useless perks like sloppy butcher and shit. And I'm gonna lose a 3000 one anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one though. I can take that. I'm trying to be somewhat sparing with my uh, points. Probably gonna get. Probably only gonna go until 35 here. Go ahead, screenshot. Remember me, tier two here. Uh, we do got the class photo, but we already read that jump rope. Uh, a long double Dutch jump rope, stained with many years of use, tremendously decreases survivors' action speed when in the dream world because it, the action speed. Must be different things for each of the things or whatever that it's producing. Gonna go ahead and have this all set up. Grab the perk. Grab the photo. Grab the rope. Grab the streamers. And then grab that. Okay, we got another new uh, add-on here. A uh, blue dress. A little girl's pale blue dress with white lace, which front is ruined by large cuts. Moderately decreases skill check chances in the dream world. Chances. Moderately decreases skill check chances. That's interesting. I know more skill checks means the chance of more great skill checks but I don't know how many people specifically go for just great skill checks so I don't I don't know what that add-on is supposed to do to the survivors but uh, whatever I guess okay so we now are at level 30 um this is probably the farthest i'm gonna go with freddy or the nightmare um i'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh teachable perk here on him um i don't i'm probably not gonna make a second video on this stuff so i'm going to uh go ahead and just spend the rest of what i have on uh quentin I don't think it's going to get me very far, but I should at least get his uh, first teachable, or not teachable, his first unique perk, so um, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Um, probably going to just go ahead and jump to when I get done. I'm going to spend the rest of the points I have on him, but I'll stop when I uh, get to the unique perk, so I guess I'll be back in a second. That was fucking lucky. Okay, so the first unique perk here is Wake Up. Uh, unlocks potential and one's aura reading ability. Once all generators are powered, exit gates are revealed to you within a 24 meter range. While opening exit gates, while opening exit gates, reveal your aura to other survivors within a 24 meter range. While Wake Up is active, you open exit gates 5% faster. 
So that's the exit gate one. I guess it's a little bit better <clears throat> knowing that, I, remembering that it reveals auras, it reveals your aura to other survivors so people can see where you're at. But I don't, that doesn't help you really much in any way, but I don't know. It's a perk, I guess. I, I actually really like when they do that little intro music stuff. Um, so I didn't get to the second unique perk for Quentin, um, and I only got tier one of the first one, Wake Up. Um, I probably won't revisit doing his web or anything. Um, uh, I already know what the other perks are anyway. I don't really care for them. Survivors aren't a different enough for me to really care. The only thing I'm interested in is getting... Uh, the teachable perks from him for my other survivors so I'll get him the 40 probably stop there or something man I got the fucking hiccups like no other um so yeah uh I I guess that's it for this video um I do enjoy doing these blood point spending webs um for the new characters or whatever um it's not so fun grinding up points and not being able to spend them or whatever but uh, and well until they come out uh, the killer and stuff comes out obviously uh, it's a little bit more interesting for the killer than it is for the survivors because there's more than just three perks to read for them um, but yeah whatever I still have enjoyed doing these videos I uh, hope you enjoy watching them um, so that's it for this video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to be notified when my new content is released, click the subscribe button on screen. And if you're looking for more videos to watch, click on the links to the right to be taken to either playlist there, or click the link on the left to be taken to that video.